Hey everybody, Mike here from DIY Aqua Pros. Today we're going to be discussing aquarium pH and water hardness. We're going to start by giving a brief description of both, talk about how the two are commonly interconnected, and then give a few examples of how they can both affect organisms in your tank. Let's start our discussion. We'll start by discussing pH. The pH is determined by taking the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration of a given solution. Now this is more or less the same thing as saying it's the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration, and we'll continue to describe it that way since the majority of people have been taught it that way. pH values are represented on a scale ranging from 0 to 14, with 7 representing a neutral pH, any number less than 7 will be acidic, and any number greater than 7 will be considered basic. Now the lower we go on the scale, the more hydrogen ions we'll have in solution, and vice versa. Now in our aquarium, several biological processes are responsible for reducing and increasing the pH. For example, nitrification is a vital biochemical pathway which is responsible for the oxidation and detoxification of ammonia to nitrate. Because this pathway generates the release of two free protons, and because it's happening 24-7 in high amounts, it can be responsible for lowering the pH. On the other hand, when photosynthesis takes place during the day, CO2 is removed from the water column, thus shifting the DIC equilibrium to the left and resulting in the consumption of hydrogen ions. This is why the pH of a planted aquarium will gently increase throughout the day. It's important to understand that in our aquarium, the pH is always changing. Now this change may be subtle and undetectable if tested, say, within the course of an hour, but when taken at a few different time points throughout the day and into the night, differences in pH are very noticeable. A safe pH range in a freshwater aquarium can vary between 6 and 8, depending on several factors. Some species of fish are extremely sensitive to pH and may require a narrower pH range to remain healthy, so don't forget to do your research before buying your fish. Now let's talk about water hardness. We can break this topic up into two main categories. GH, or general hardness, refers to a solution's relative concentration of calcium and magnesium ions. KH, or carbonate hardness, is a measure of the free bicarbonate and carbonate anions, which is also referred to as a measure of alkalinity. Soft water refers to aquarium water with a low GH and KH, as well as having a lower pH. Hard water is just the opposite. It refers to a high GH and KH, and therefore will tend to have a higher pH. Most of the time in natural environments, GH, KH, and pH are all commonly linked, meaning that if the GH is high, so is the KH as well as the pH, and vice versa. However, this isn't always the case when it comes to water that we get out of our tap. This is why we often can't use pH alone as a way to determine whether or not our water is hard or soft. Using test kits always proves to be the best method. So why do we care? Well, different species of plants will be affected by the overall water hardness of your aquarium, depending on the environment in which they naturally evolved. Softwater plants are those which evolved in acidic waters with low concentrations of calcium, magnesium, and bicarbonate ions. They will prefer these conditions and grow best in them. Hardwater plants are just the opposite. They evolved in alkaline waters with higher concentrations of calcium, magnesium, and bicarbonate ions, and they will prefer these conditions to grow to their full potential. To review, pH is measured by the concentration of hydronium or hydrogen ions in a solution. The pH of our aquarium is always changing due to several different biological processes. Water hardness, or GH, is a measure of the calcium and magnesium ions in our water. KH refers to carbonate hardness, which is a measurement of bicarbonate and carbonate anions in our water. pH is tied in with water hardness, but is not a reliable way of determining the GH. To learn more about water chemistry and other biological processes taking place in the aquarium, check out more of our science videos on our website. 